Hello Church! Hello everyone who's watching us right now here at the official page of Lagro United Methodist Church Philippines. Welcome to our segment, Hymns from the Heart. Hello everyone! Yes, here we are going to feature church hymns and sacred songs with the heartwarming stories behind them and the inspiring stories of the men and women who wrote them. So that they may not remain as mere hymns we have learned to sing in church, but as hymns from the heart. This is Tito Arnel. And this is Levi. Join us in this segment, Hymns from the Heart. Our featured hymn for today is Blessed Be the Tie That Binds, written by John Fawcett. Ang ginawa niyang hymn na ito ang isa na siguro sa mga most loved farewell hymns of all time. It was the practice kasi of many ministers then to write hymns on the theme of the day to be sung at the conclusion of the sermon. This hymn was included under the title of Brotherly Love in Fawcett's hymns adapted to the circumstances of public worship and private devotion. United Methodist Hymno editor Carlton Young notes that the collection contained 166 hymns, most of them to be sung as a congregational response to the sermon. Pero paano niya naisip na isulat ang hymn na ito? Si John Fawcett ay naulila noong 12 years old siya at naging apprentice sa isang tailor sa Bradford, England kung saan siya nagtatrabaho ng maraming oras. Hanggang natuto siyang magbasa at namaster niya ang The Pilgrim's Progress, the devotional classic by John Bunyan. Later, Fawcett was converted through a powerful preaching by George Whitefield. While the evangelist was delivering a message to 20,000 people in an open field. Nung sinabi daw ni Fawcett kay Whitefield, na gusto niyang mag-preach, iginawad ng evangelist ang kanyang blessing kay Fawcett. And so, John Fawcett became a Baptist pastor and was sent to Waynesgate, England, following his ordination. Ayon sa isang hymnologist na si Albert Bailey, ang kongregasyon niya sa Waynesgate ay mailalarawan na isang grupo ng mga kabahayan na nakahiwalay sa marami na nasa tuktok ng isang kalbong burol. Maaaring typical ito para sa mga pastor sa kanayunan ng mga panahong yon, 18th century. Sabi pa din ni Bailey, ang mga tao daw doon ay puro farmers at shepherds na mahihirap ang buhay, kulang sa kagandahang asal at ang pananalita ay di maintindihan. Hindi nakababasa at nakasusulat. May mga bisyo ignorante at magagalitin kaya ang established church noon ay di sila napuntahan ang mga baptists lamang ang nakapagpadala ng itinerant preacher sa kanila sa katauhan ni Fawcett at naging maganda ang kanyang simula Tumungo si John Fawcett at ang kanyang asawang si Mary doon upang manirahan noong 1765 kasunod ng kanyang ordination Sa kanyang pagbahay-bahay sa mga pamilya doon, nakabuo siya ng isang congregation. It grew to the point that a gallery had to be added to the modest meeting house. With the addition of four children to the family, what he was receiving from the church, supplemented by parishioners' donation of wool and potatoes, was barely adequate, especially during the long winters. Then, a prestigious parish with more financial resources in London, Carter's Lane Baptist Church extended a call. Their pastor died and they needed a new pastor. After hearing Fawcett's preachings, they decided to offer him the slot. Fawcett and his wife decided to accept. Announcements were made, the farewell sermon was preached, yung mabibigat na furnitures at mga old books were sold, hanggang sa dumating ang araw ng pag-alis. A two-wheeled wagon came for the rest of his belongings and likewise, his parishioners came to say goodbye. 
Pero dahil sa labis na lungkot at pag-iyak ng mga miyembro habang nagpapaalam, hindi kinaya ng kanilang damdami na tumuloy sa pag-alis. Mary was quoted saying, I can't stand it, John. I know not how to go. John responded, Lord, help me, Mary, nor can I stand it. We will unload the wagon, then told the crowd, We've changed our minds. We are going to stay. And yes, they stayed, and they stayed there for 54 years. Isinulat ni John Fawcett ang awit na ito upang i-describe ang kanyang naging damdamin sa karanasan ito. It's about the tie that binds between him and his congregation and the love of God they shared together. Today, this reminds us Christians about our love for each other, recalling the struggles we fought together and the victories we won together in faith for God and the ministry. Even when we could be separated by physical distance, the love of God binds us together forever. And so, with no further ado, let us put our voices together and sing our hymn for today, Blessed Be the Tide That Binds. Thank you for joining us today. This has been Tito Arnel. And Levy here. And this is Hymns from the Heart, a production of the Communications and Web Ministry of Lager United Methodist Church.